So hello guys, today in this video I am going to show you how to configure database mirroring for SharePoint server. Before you proceed the procedure, this is the basic principle of database mirroring. Uh, there should be three uh, database server or three instance of database server. You can see here, I have three database server, node 1, node 2 and witness server node 1 is my primary node 2 is mirror and witness is witness server principle the SQL server that will be providing data to the SharePoint farm uh, that's right this is my principal server mirror server the SQL server that will provide data to the SharePoint farm when a disaster strikes it means when the primary data server is down mirror server will act as a primary server because of it is already mirroring or synchronizing the data from principal server and third is witness server witness server is the sql server that enables the mirror server to recognize when to initiate an automatic failover automatic failover is not possible without witness server if you configure a database without a witness server you need to uh, failover manually here this is my architecture or design for demo SharePoint server and this is my principal DB node 1 mirror database server node 2 and witness database server there should be one active directory domain controller which is connected to all servers uh, here I have three uh, database server and my primary server is node 1 and I have already created one site in my SharePoint server this is my demo site and from here you can see the database of my site collection select your web application I have only one so selected that one and database content database is WSS content so go to the database server task backup and we need to take full backup uh, yet the location path I will not keep in default path I have only one C drive so I will make one folder in C drive new folder backup ok and here I will put the file name WSS underscore content dot BAK database a backup extension should be BAK. ok ok and ok now it is taking backup yeah the backup of database WSS content completed successfully yeah that's fine now we need to take transaction backup backup and backup type is transaction log add the folder or backup location I will keep both backup in same location so backup WSS underscore content dot TRN transition log backup extension should be TRN ok ok and ok yeah the backup of database WSS content completed successfully it is transition backup here this is database backup and this is transaction backup here SQL server transaction log backup and I need to copy this to backup file to my node 2 so SQL node 2 C drive and paste here that's fine okay now I'm going to restore this backup to node 2 or my 
mirror server restore from device add the location where you kept the backup file backup first database backup okay okay and go to options choose restore with no recovery and I will check overwrite the existing database uh, if there is the same named database it will replace the existing database I don't have any database but I want to make sure so okay it is restoring now yeah database WSS content restored successfully okay it is restoring now we need to restore transaction log backup in same database task restore transaction log from device find your backup location here this is transaction with trn extension okay okay same go to options and choose restore with no recovery okay it is restored successfully fine now we need to mirror the database select your database and go to properties or task the mirror here and click on configure security configure database mirroring security wizard next you can configure with witness server or without uh, witness server if you configure with uh, no option or without witness server it will not work as a f automatic failover but you can manually failover the database uh, for this demo purpose I'm going to continue with witness server select as yes. next and principal mirror and witness server next uh, this is my principal server node 1 that's fine and I will write in point name is principal next and for mirror server my secondary server is node 2 so this will be my mirror server connect and in point name is mirroring fine next and for the witness server SQL witness fine connect and in point name is witness next there is the service account if you have different service account you can define here but uh, in this my demo I have same account for the three database servers so I don't need to provide any service account credential so next and finish it is configuring the endpoints close and start mirroring there is the error this is the bug of SQL Server 2017 uh, management studio that's why I have already installed management studio 2014 I will continue with management studio 2014 Yeah, this one I'm going to first connect node 1 yeah, connected and node 2 fine and witness connect yeah that's fine there is the database and here is the database with restoring the state now task mirror and configure security same procedure I will continue with witness server next this is my node 1 primary and in point name is principal next uh, mirror server is node 2 connect and in point name is mirroring fine and witness server is SQL witness connect and 
endpoint name is witness next same thing about the credential and service accounts next and finish it is created and start mirroring yeah it is synchronized and the database are fully synchronized okay let's see here it is principal in node 1 database is principal and synchronized in node 2 uh, refresh once and it is mirror synchronized fine and what if we fell over manually okay properties mirror and click on fell over yes here now refresh the database status is changed now it is mirror and it is it is principal so what if the sql server node 1 is down uh, what if no 2 because of now the 2 is principal so i am going to browse or remote access node 2 and services this may not do after that SQL server service stop yes and check here Because of I just stop the service database service in node 2, just refresh node 1, and now it is principal and disconnected. Restart the service again. Start here, refresh, refresh now it is principal synchronized and database it is mirror and synchronized let's try to browse the sharepoint site this is my sharepoint site the mirror for failover i go to home and like site contains yeah it is browsing fine now go to uh, first check which is the principal now node 1 is principal so I'm going to stop the node 1 database service SQL server service stop and check this should be changed this node 2 should be changed to the principal yeah, this is uh, the principal and let's try again browse the SharePoint site now go to pages yeah this pages and home yeah it is working fine with automatic failover now I am going to restart the service yeah that's fine and guys if you haven't configured witness server you need to fill over uh, manually like to here properties sorry it is not connected it's still okay here and it is mirror so go to the uh, principal database properties mirror and you need to do failover manually if you haven't configured the witness server thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you